Hello again from Custom Entertainment Solutions. I'd like to show you a quick video on how we remotely support and do engineering for our clients around the world. We do literally stand next to our products and this is the AWSM. In this case what we needed to do was provide a retrofit kit for the motors the main drive system. Now because we do detailed 3D modeling from the beginning of the project we have the model and essentially the physical uh, system in our database and we can do this uh, remotely no matter where this product ends up in the world so let's zoom in really quick on the motors and the drive controls unfortunately we did try to push in brushless motor technology inside here the the motors were fine the PMAC Mars brushless in runner motors were great unfortunately the motor controllers you see there were completely dysfunctional and had to be returned um, this is uh, not, a, not a great thing, but you know, sometimes pushing technology to the edge, you, you run into this. Um, it's not quite ready yet. But what is ready is a good old tried and true DC brushed motor technology. So let's get rid of those controllers and get uh, these brushless motors off. And as you can see, we have the CAD model of the frame, which we plasma cut and welded here and know what kind of tolerances we have uh, embedded inside there. Now, here are the new motors. They're nice geared NPC motors, lots of torque, and uh, let's blast out those new parts that we need for that retrofit assembly, and there you can see it's finished. Uh, the nice uh, quick connect cam handle does a great job for us to let it disengage and engage the chain drive system without any tooling and you can see some of the features there so it's designed to have a long life there if we need to put another motor on there or service it's very easy to get it on and get it off and especially important for my client is that we can install it using three bolts there and it is uh, just all you need to do is have a, a, a wrench there and an allen key and you should be set now there's a lot of play inside the system let me show you why so when you install this onto the AWSM robot, it's important to be able to engage and disengage that chain drive uh, to the treads because it's a very positive system. There is no clutch and those gear motors do not rotate unless they're powered. That could be an issue unless you uh, have the batteries charged all the time, which we all know that won't be the case. So by undoing that cam lock handle, you can actually, and the two safety bolts that are next to it, those are all grade 5, 3, 8, 16 bolts, you can loosen that and slide that assembly uh, backwards or forwards. Now that will either add tension to the chain or disengage the chain system entirely. To disengage it is beneficial and let it right on that shaft so that you can actually manually push the robot around if necessary. This motor controller I'm impressed with, it's from Robot Solutions, and they did a great job. We've shipped it with this mounting bracket. These nuts need to be taken off. Those are just placeholders because the chassis we did do a drill and tap for that hardware specifically so you, you will not need those nuts. Um, what's nice about this is that uh, in general we take a lot of care with our robotic enclosures. This is the main one we designed from scratch for AWSM. There's a lot of detailed work that went into that, but especially important is keeping things cool, and that's why we do full-on CFD computational fluid dynamics analysis like this here. So we didn't do that on their product, but it looked pretty apparent that we needed to add some vents uh, to let some more air flow through there. There's going to be potentially a lot of amperage going through those circuits, and we'd like to dissipate that out to the environment. So had a cooling fan on it already, just wanted to help it out. And it was very simple out of the box. The default conditions worked great. We didn't have to tweak anything. And this system is designed to be installed in a few minutes with minimal tools. Once it's installed, as you can see, it is able to be adjusted without tools on the fly or during a performance. Um, and it's uh, hopefully going to be a nice thing to have and a good step forward. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop us a line at uh, customandsolutions.com or just comment on the video. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, appreciate your attention. Good luck.